And now it's our pleasure to welcome back to the show the general manager of Vanderbilt football, former Cover 3 podcast host, Barton Simmons. Barton, congratulations. Uh, we roasted the hire uh, on a previous episode. <laughs> we have tried to also promote uh, sending uh, any, any kind of future Vanderbilt students and college football fans uh, your way so that they can be a part of the, uh, the new movement of football at Vanderbilt. So uh, how are we doing, man? What's, what's it been like here over the, uh, the last little bit going through the transition? Well, I think first of all, um, on a serious note, the, um, what the, the, it's been overwhelming the support um, and people that have reached out and the people that are excited and um, energized and, and, and happy about, you know, the last few days. And because of that, I want to send my heartfelt appreciation to everyone that's reached out because I too am extremely excited and validated and happy about Devontae Smith winning the Heisman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and a, and a really important, a really important exclamation point to the end of the season. So I want to get that out of the way first. Devontae Smith has in fact completed the run that started in, in, in November with a whisper. Um, Secondly, you guys, this is your first opportunity here, you guys, where I'm going to trust you with scoop. I'm trusting you with news because I am sitting here as we record this actually unemployed. I am, I am, I have no job. <laughs> haven't gone into the office yet. I'm still you waiting on that an employment check. <laughs> I'm still waiting on that background <laughs> check to clear. And for what, you know, well, I mean, I, mean, I don't know what didn't... skeletons they're digging up. Yeah, what uh -oh. we did in Austin, I don't know if, you know, that's you know, causing any problems. Um, so, yeah, so as soon as that background check clears, it will be official. And you guys can release this podcast. And so I'll, I will speak as if um, it has been, you know, that the job is done. But, uh, but no, look, it's um, thanks for thanks for having me on. Um, this is this is will be something that I dearly miss. You guys are my boys. Uh, I, I was just gonna say congrats i hope I vanderbilt was, gets was, you better uh, vanderbilt internet. soliloquy or what <laughs> no oh man am i breaking up you yeah. were frozen yeah right there it probably was your best like most heartfelt line that you delivered was just frozen frozen screen but i hope they have man. better yeah i hope they have what better you, internet in the office <laughs> what'd you catch did you catch any all none you call this your boys, and then you just kind of disappear. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that, then, then good, because the only thing you miss is me being like, all right, what do you want to talk about? All right, just... I, want to, I want to know, how did this come about? Is this a dream of you? Have you wanted to get in coaching? Is this the perfect storm? Because it's your guy. It's Nashville. Mm -hmm. what, how did this come to be? How did this come to fruition? Okay, so I have always been very fascinated by building a roster and the evaluation process, the scouting process, the roster construction process, roster management, like that's, that is my passion. Um, but look, the reality is I, I had a pretty sweet gig at 24 seven. Like I enjoyed it. I, I have job security, had job security, worked for a great company, great benefits. Uh, no win or loss on a Saturday was going to make me come into work on Monday with uh, the idea that I might, be fired the next day. Like, um, I, you know, a coach taking a new job wasn't going to mean I had to move, to, you know, Hattiesburg, Mississippi or something the next, you know, the next week, like there is to being in the media side of things. And I enjoyed that. And a Nashville guy, the, um, the, you know, the, the quality of life is always going to be number one for me. And, I had always talked to Clark through every stop. You know, he's always like, you know, when I get a head job someday, like you're going to, I'm going to take you with me. And I was like, good luck. Like, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going like wherever you go. Like I'm not going. The fact that landed this job at Vanderbilt in Nashville. And because the other element of it too, is like, I don't, that I would necessarily because of the quality of life element of this, I don't know that I would be that anxious to jump in with just about any other coach, but because I have so much trust in Clark Lee, 
not because he's my friend, he is, but because of of how I've observed him as a coach. Like, A, I have trust that he's going to do it the right way. B, I have trust that he is a phenomenal coach. Um, and and C, like, he's a guy that I'm passionate to try to work with and try to build this the right way with. And so for the the stars to align and for this to happen in that a city I love um, a at a university at Vanderbilt that I think has – immense upside i'll be i got to, to be totally honest with you guys like i, I know i've sort of like low-key loved up vanderbilt before but i know a lot of people that have worked there <clears throat> i can't tell you how many former people coaches that have hit me up even before i got the job just when clark got the job to say things like that place is has so much potential like that you can win there people that have worked there and have won people that have worked there and haven't won have, have universally come to me and be like, that is a place you can win. Like if you get it right, you, there, there is so much potential there. And I, I believe in it. Uh, and, and I think the right guy is there. And I am, uh, it's just, I mean, the stars aligned. It's just the per, I, 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 it's almost surreal um, that, you know, because any other, any other jump like this, there would have to be some compromise somewhere. This is just this is just a perfect opportunity, um, and and it's time to get off the sideline. It's time to get in the fight. So, as the general manager, what exactly is your role going to be in the program? So, I think I'll be sort of the um, I, I'm going to be the keeper of of the roster. Like I'm going to be because there's a lot of um, you know as coaches recruit their group as um, as, as the scouting department sort of evaluates the positions as the recruit. So he's keeping it a secret. Oh man. You got me? <laughs> <laughs> no, you were, uh, back? you were talking about, you know, like with position coaches and how they're putting okay. the roster. So, all right. I am basically um, you know, the head coaches eyes and ears that can, that can maintain the integrity of the roster and have a long-term vision of the roster. And that means managing our scouting department. That means managing our recruiting and, and operations, recruiting operations. Um, and it means keeping us disciplined and focused on the right things, getting the right guys with the right attributes, the right mental makeup, um, the right fits, um, making sure that everyone is, is sort of consistent in understanding what that vision is. And so, again, I think the idea that the head coach has trust in me, I have trust in the head coach that we're aligned philosophically. And we've talked about this for years in terms of what we like in players. And, 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 and what's exciting too, is that I think Vanderbilt is a place where we can, we can go out and find players that are fits for Vanderbilt that might not be fits for other places, like the right guys for that program and we don't have to, you know, I, I believe stars matter, but we don't have to chase stars. Like we don't, I, I actually am not going to really care what our classes are ranked. So are you, uh, are you making the graphics? Like, are you putting together the, we need ballers, you equals baller <laughs> and sending them out to, uh, to all the recruits? Like, is that uh, in your department? I mean, I am not totally proficient. Oh, bro, you better get photo, Yeah, you got Photoshop yeah. and <laughs> and Adobe Premiere because you need a clapback. I don't know if you've seen, but Missouri football has your voice on a hype <laughs> video, and that is a SEC East division rival that is now just sitting there with some bulletin board material about how the general manager of Vanderbilt football doesn't see more than four wins on the schedule. Well, fortunately, um, I'm going to get our, uh, our people at Vanderbilt to do some digging in the cover three archives and find some bulletin board material for that, for Vanderbilt. I'm sure I've said plenty <laughs> as have you guys that has provided plenty of bulletin board material for Vanderbilt. So, Hey, if the cover three podcast can provide bulletin board material across the board, um, all the, all the better, you know? So I, uh, Hey, I'm on Just board fine. with that. 
just find Danny on every locks pod yeah, for the last say. three months. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I'm guilty of, all, of that a couple times too. Right. <laughs> I want to go ahead and jump in here. Uh, first lock, I mean, just Vandy. You know, you look for him on the board and you jump on the other side. We're going to get it right. It's new era. We're going to get it right. I promise you. Hey, As, next right, year. One more question. One more question. Okay. One more question. As general manager, will you be uh, like, are you allowed to be on the field? Is it a separate role? Like, I don't even know how some of this stuff works. Are you allowed to survey practice? Are you allowed to recruit? Or are you just strictly evaluating? Oh yeah. I'm allowed to recruit. I'm allowed to, uh, I don't, I don't know the specifics of the rules of like how, when, I'm, I certainly can't coach on the field, but I, mm -hmm. I think I, I can observe practice. Um, right. but I, I got a lot of compliance, um, classes I got to dig into, but I, but no, I think, I mean, yes, at, you know, com communicating with process, um, and, and, you know, being involved, um, in the team, you know, it's, is is all very much within the, the function, but, but no, no actual coaching. They don't coach in any ways. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Will will there be oat milk stocked in the facilities at all times? I was thinking about that. I wonder if I can have like a mini fridge in my office <laughs> and anytime a player wants to come in and have a conversation, I'll just break out the oat milk and just, you know, we'll have a glass and talk it up, chop it up. Yeah. 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 That's what you do. Well, well Bart, uh, We've, we've loved uh, working with you. We will root for you and your success at Vanderbilt. Uh, congratulations on the hire, and uh, we look forward to uh, keeping in touch. Maybe maybe you'll join us for a guest spot at some point in the, uh, in the future. We'll if, are you even allowed to? I, I don't know. I guess that's a, that's a head coach <laughs> call. <laughs> uh, All right. But I will say this. Look, there is a big – first of all, this has been the, like, my favorite part of the job even beyond like the evaluation is having these conversations with you guys, because y'all are, y'all are my boys and y'all are my friends and it's been fun. So everyone that listens to the cover three podcast, it's all no acting here. It's all real. But second of all, there, there is a massive cover three audience. We have a massive over army. I am not asking anyone to drop their fandom and pick up the Commodores, but I don't think it's too much to ask for all the years and all the hours I've logged talking on this podcast for our loyal listeners to at least put Vandy in like the number two spot. Like <laughs> just, just be a, you know, give us a courtesy like fandom for a while. And, you know, maybe we might pull Vandy here for a year, but at some point the goal is we're going to be kicking your team's ass so much that you're going to eventually hate us. And I will take that too. But until we get to that point, put us in the two spot. Love it. Barton, thank you very much. Thanks. You deserve it.